All right guys, believe it or not, these delicious looking things are Audi bought ribs. So I'm gonna show you how you can make ribs just like this for your family. But first, we've got to hit the rewind. <laughs> All right, let's talk about ribs. Now, I normally source my ribs from a local produce, but today I thought we'd try ribs that are readily available to everyone, so you can try this at home for yourself, and that's ribs from Audi. Let's get them out of the fridge and check out what we're dealing with. All right, so we've got our uh, Audi ribs here. So I've got two racks of ribs. Uh, so the first thing that we need to do with our ribs is we need to clean these up to get ready. So these ones are pretty lean already. There's not much fat on them, but if there's any excess fat or any flaps on the edge, it's best just to trim those bit off because they'll probably just dry out anyway. Uh, but these ones are looking pretty good. So the first thing we need to do is we need to flip them over and we need to remove this membrane that's across the back of the ribs. So the easiest way to do that is just grab a knife, lift the corner up, grab a paper towel and peel it back. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so we've cleaned that membrane or that skin, that film off the back. Right, it's very tough texture. Okay, so we've peeled that off the back. We're just gonna trim off a little bit of excess meat on the edge here, just a sort of flap, because it's just gonna dry out on us. All right, okay. And those ribs are pretty much ready to go. All right, let's do it to the second one. All right, then we'll put our rubs on. All right, so we've trimmed up our ribs and we've pulled that skin off the back and cleaned off any excess little bits of meat off the side. And now it's time to add our rubs. Now, sometimes these ribs can be a bit tacky and a bit sticky and you don't need to add anything else. You can just put your rubs straight on there. I like to add a couple of extras just to make sure. One is the most popular way, which is probably just a little bit of virgin oil. So you just rub that onto the meat. It'll just help the rubs stick to the ribs. Uh, the other option that you can use is a little bit of mustard. Just gives the meat a little bit of a nice tang. So it's also one of my favorites. So we're gonna do one of each and we're gonna do two different types of rubs. So we'll, we'll whack them on and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so now we're gonna add our rubs on. This is one of my favorites here. This is the uh, Grillmates Tennessee Smokehouse. This one's available at Woolies for a couple of dollars for a packet, all ready to go, nice and easy. Uh, a little bit of chili flavor to it. So my six year old, probably too hot for him. Uh, so if you don't like hot things at all, don't try this one, but it's pretty mild. Uh, gives the meat a great flavor. So we're gonna put that onto our first set of ribs. For our second rub, we're gonna use uh, a combination of some local produce. So these are some local boys that I bought these ones through. Uh, this is called the Deep South East Contender, and this is the sweet meat. So these are competition rubs um, that I bought recently. So we're gonna add a combination of these to the second set of ribs. So let's get those rubs on, and then we can get them into the fire. All right, so there's our rubs on the meat ready to go. So I recommend trying to get these on a couple of, get the rubs on a couple of hours before you cook, even the night before. If you're gonna do it the night before, just wrap them in glad wrap, put them in the fridge so they don't dry out. But uh, we've had these on there for about an hour now while we've built the fire, it's ready to go. So let's take them down, start cooking. Okay, so the temperature's been sitting at 120 degrees Celsius for the first hour of the cook. Ribs are looking really nice. Just gonna give them a little spray there. Just a combination of apple cider vinegar and water. Just to stop any parts drying out. Check them again in an hour. All right, so to go along with your ribs, you need a few side dishes. The best side dish that you can do with the ribs in the smoker is corn. Now, I've spent hours cooking food for the family, um, only to throw corn in in the last bit and it'd be a real scene stealer. So the kids love this one. Everyone uh, seems to love the corn, but you can't just put it in by itself. So I'm gonna show you what you need to do to uh, make it irresistible. Okay, so for the first thing you need to do with your corn is just clean it up. So just remove that husk. Okay, so you've got your corn now. We've cut that up into nine little pieces there, individual pieces. All right, you just need to cut yourself off a slab of butter like that. Then what we're gonna do is grab a piece of corn and just rub that butter all around it. Okay, once we've done that, uh, we're gonna use a spice grinder now. This is a barbecue spice grinder, also available at Audi. This stuff is amazing, it's really good. So just take your corn, just turn it over, it comes already as a grinder, and just sprinkle that onto your corn. Give it as much as you like. I go pretty heavy on this stuff. Okay, 
and then just wrap that up like that. And that's it, that's all you need. Repeat that eight times, throw it in the smoker. Okay, so we're about three hours into smoking now. The temperature's been sitting around 125 to 130. It's been up and down a little bit, but pretty consistent there. So let's check out the ribs, see what they look like. All right, and they look really good. All right, so we're gonna remove our ribs. So take your ribs out and they're looking really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip them over. All right, so we've got the meat side down, okay? Now this is where you can do what you like with your ribs, okay? But I like to add a little bit of butter to the ribs. Okay, just in there. And I like to just sweeten it up, just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Now some people like to put brown sugar in there, but I find these rubs that I've used, I've already got enough sugar in them, so I don't need to add any more. So I do like to add just a little bit of Worcestershire over the meat. Okay. And then just a little bit around the outside. And then we're gonna wrap that up, pop it in, and do the same to the next one. All right, so we smoked the meat for three hours so far and we've had them wrapped for an hour. Now, some people like to do two hours there. They like to use what they call three, two, one method. So three hours smoked, two hours wrapped, uh, one hour sauce up. But I find that with the Audi ribs, there's a little less meat on those bones and two hours is just too long and they end up sort of shrinking up. Bones will fall apart, but your meat ends up a bit soft and I like mine with a bit more chews. That looks perfect to me. So we can just see the, the bones are starting to pull back and they're looking nice and tender. Exactly what we want to see. So we're going to pop that back up on the grill for a sec. Let's grab a second one at the back. Okay. And again, that looks really good. Okay, nice and tender, but still with a little bit of chew there. So, beautiful. All right, so we'll pop that one out as well. Okay, now normally I like to use a mop on there. Uh, so it's just a small little kitchen mop because what happens is when you tip, put the sauce on with the brush, it tends to move the rubbing around. But unfortunately today I can't find my mop. I think uh, my good mate Justin who uh, loves mopping his meat might have pinched mine. So I've just had to pinch the wife's one out of the kitchen. And we're just gonna pour on the barbecue sauce. Now I'm just using your standard uh, barbecue sauce from the shopping center. Um, nothing special about it at all. This is a non-spicy set of ribs for my uh, young son. So. This barbecue's just got a nice little tang, nice and sweet. So we'll just lather that up like that, flip it over, do the other side. And now for the other one here, uh, I'm using a bit of Sweet Baby Ray's. Uh, this is a hickory and brown sugar one, really nice. All right, so we've had our corn sitting up there for about an hour now, so it's close to being done. Um, just sauce those ribs up, so we'll probably give them about 20 minutes, just let that sauce caramelize, that barbecue sauce just caramelize up nicely, become a bit sticky, and then they'll be ready to serve. All right, guys, so that's uh, that's the Audi ribs for you, nice and easy. So we'll just remember it's uh, three hours smoked, one hour's wrapped, and 20 minutes with the sauce. Cooked all day at about 120 degrees, so really simple. Good thing is Audi always have ribs in stock, so go down to the local Audi, grab some ribs, try it for yourself. What do you think of the ribs, kids? So good. They're delicious, Daddy. Amazing. Well, we've got nothing but clean bones left, so uh, it's always a winner with the family. Give it a go. Throw any questions in the comments below. See you on the next vid. Please remember to like and subscribe. Yes. Right, that's the final end of the uh, Audi ribs. What's left of it? Um, Ten hours.
hours taught, <laughs> three hours smart, <laughs> two hours wrapped, 20 minutes sourced. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe if you want to if you want to see me hanging around for a little bit. How are they, kids? Delicious. Oh, this corn is so good. Don't say that. <laughs>